way, but oh my goodness. I'm just, hey, you know what? Let's just turn the camera over here. Let's just do this, <laughs> Chef Mark Bailey, a private chef. You, you recognize him, hopefully with his clothes on from the yes. Food Network. Yeah, I'm out here naked. Yeah, <laughs> but that's okay. Can we, can we get like a kind of more of a full shot oh here? Because <laughs> the new book is called um, Cooking in Boxers, 50 Ways to Keep Your Mate in Bed, but yes. I can definitely count like six to eight right here. <laughs> And that's before we get to the food. So I wasn't sure today what we were going to talk about. If we were going to talk about sausage links or, or, or patty. Okay, right. We're keeping it clean. This morning we're keeping it clean for the harvest. We're keeping it clean for the harvest festival. <laughs> but thank you okay. for having me. So we're talking about pumpkin. Yes, pumpkin. It's all about pumpkin and apple. Don't we love this season? Yes. Now what is this? This because... big mama dama here, right? Yes. This is the French toast bake. I love a French oh my toast God. bake. Okay. You know? Once mm. again, it's great because you can make it overnight. You can make it the night before, so it's yeah. less time in the morning that you have to worry about it. Um, basically, my custard. What I've done is, you know, it's basically French bread, but I in the custard, I made sure to add some fresh pumpkin puree in that, yeah. and you know, eggs, milk, all those good stuff. But on the top, I created a streusel topping, an apple streusel topping, which is basically, you know, your brown sugar, your apples, your uh, pecans or walnuts, mm. and again, butter. How is that? Oh my God! And then what you do mm. is you kind of like glaze the top with syrup if you like, you know. So you. Oh, Audrey, you gotta try this, girl. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> like that. That is delicious. Yeah. Okay, and then one more. Let we all love hash, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Again. Dice up your pumpkins, saute mm -hmm. them real quick in a little olive oil. Okay. Um, they take literally maybe about 15 to 20 minutes before they start getting tender. Then you add the apples. Mm -hmm. um, I like to toss in there some scallions. You know, you can throw sage in there as well as some cranberries. Mm -hmm. And then I like to just top it with bacon as well as maybe even a sunny side up egg. Man, this is delicious. Yeah, this right? is really, it's really good. Down. It's a great brunch. I think this is, the, I love a spring brunch, but I mm -hmm. love a fall brunch even more. But let me tell you what I like most about this. Mm -hmm. This is not greasy. Right, exactly. You know, it's you light. take a hash, you always think, oh my gosh, it's going to taste so good. Uh -huh. And then afterwards, the grease, it sits with you all day. Right. And then That's no potatoes, so at least, you know, you're keeping mm -hmm. it like that way. You know, it's all fruit right. and veggies. And so the exactly. turkey bacon? And then you can do turkey bacon, or I went with the original, mm -hmm. you know, mm. pork. <laughs> that is delicious. But let me ask you something, in all sure. seriousness. When you're cooking like this to keep your mate in bed, aren't you worried about a little splash under the grease? No, I mean, you know what? I don't want any liability, so I'm not telling anyone to actually, why not serve in boxers, you know? Serve in boxers. And women, too. You can throw on your men's boxer and get in there as well. My producer's saying we could wrap after this, but I'm like, no, I'm enjoying the view. I need an extra 30 seconds here, La. I need an extra 30 seconds. All right, no. so again, the cookbook is... Cooking cook, in your boxers. Cooking in your boxers. 50 ways to keep your mate in bed. Keep Keeping it clean. They're going to be so full, they'll stay in bed, but who knows? You might get seconds <laughs> on food. Woo! Woo! Lord have mercy! Well, okay. Oh my gosh. Back over to you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Oh, Lord. <laughs>